prompts. I think you and Hand are going to be great friends, Window. <laughs> Isn't that right, Hand? <laughs> you just right, Nikito. Speak up! For example, the first murder involved someone important getting stabbed to death in an unexpected place. The butt. <laughs> I guess anytime you get stabbed, it's in an unexpected place. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Yeah, they're like, do you bite your thumb at me, sir? And he's like, yes, I bite my thumb at you! Wow. And then he's like, fuck you, and then they fight. <laughs> I'm gonna Tybalt dies or whatever. I'm gonna <gasps> Spoilers. Hey, I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Do I have a baby day in my life? <laughs> oh, okay, well, Welcome back to Game Grumps. Hey. Sorry, we were just chatting. <laughs> it's just reminiscing of it. <laughs> I'm gonna put it to the peepee! <laughs> but what was I singing? I don't, I don't know, what were the lyrics? Uh... No... No, it's not worth it. Okay, it, anyway. it was like, I had to go <laughs> peepee, but if I did, my daddy would have beat me, so I haven't peepee day in my life. It was something along those lines. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he singing so excitedly about it? I don't know. That was you. <laughs> You're the person. So have a baby day in my life. So have a baby day in my life. <laughs> okay, we're back. Uh, yeah, strange feeling in the tower. <laughs> what happened to the chain? The <laughs> did it, did it break it? The chain disappeared. This strange feeling I felt when I went back and forth between the two towers. <laughs> yup, just as I thought. It was definitely the right choice to confirm this. Just as you thought, then you already knew about this mystery? You have a bad habit of relying on others when you don't understand. Dick. Why don't you try investigating first? Jerk. That door at the far back of the picture of a grape on it, maybe there's a clue hidden there. Douche. Yeah, we'll pick that. There's a clue? Uh, there's a clue on that door? Did you call <laughs> me a douche? <laughs> what? The door handle's gone. Ah. <laughs> It's the door with the picture of grapes on it. But wait! It should lead to Grape Hall. An incredibly obvious thing. Wait, huh? One of the doorknobs is gone? <laughs> it's like this Chris came out with it! This game only has two categories of things. Unbelievably obvious shit that's talked about ad nauseum, and impossible to figure out shit that you'd never <laughs> find in a million years. It's the same as that doorknob that was on the floor. See? See? The screws came out with it, right? You guys are fucking morons! <laughs> then the doorknob next to Nekomaru's body came off the door to Grey Paul. Well, that's what it looks like. When you said clue, were you talking about this? What is it? But what is it a clue to? The door. What? Huh? Did you get even more confused? <laughs> no need to worry. Just one clue will change everything. Burp, 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 is he just burp, burp. is he just fucking like being an asshole because he looked out the window and saw the answer? Yeah. Without a doubt. All the mysteries will be solved as it's everything we're linked together, if you can reach it. Just like I did. He's definitely got some weird, like, sociopathic tendencies. What does that mean? Even if I ask him that, Nikito probably won't give me an answer. So it'd just be a waste of time to ask. Ding dong, bing ding dong, bong. bing bong. Oh, well, hello, no, Monokuma. I forgot all about you. It appears that it's time. Hey, for the it's time, baby. Woo! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Let's it's do time it. For the truth. I'm tired. Extremely tired. I feel like spending the rest of my life hibernating already. I know how you feel. <laughs> You're a robot. Man, <laughs> I know it's bad, but I'm so sleepy. I just want to ditch. Okay. <sighs> Though I really don't feel like it. I'll show you my serious Th side when you come order. to the class trial. What? He said, though I really don't feel like it. Oh my this God. Is, I don't really feel Let's like write it. a letter. Even though it's impossible since it's so annoying. You can count on me to take this seriously. Okay. Looks like it's going to start. Another class trial. Another hope. Another despair. Another, uh, another how that. <laughs> uh. How are we supposed to get to the trial ground? Damn it. You're right. We can't do anything unless we get out of this building. Let's kill each other. <laughs> What's that smell? Um, Akane, did something happen? Hey, hey. No, well, do you guys hear something? Here's something. Hey, hey. What do you hear this? 
<laughs> Suddenly, as if cutting off Chiaki, she was probably going to say titty. <laughs> I'll just, that's my headcanon. That's my guess. Our surroundings started to shake and rumble. And then, it suddenly appeared before us. Oh. Oh, oh my god! That's, that's gonna hurt the resale value. Yeah, for sure. Used. Um. <laughs> slightly worn. Alright, you go first. <laughs> Is he telling us to go inside from here? Seems that way. Alright, All right, I'm gonna go! You're not upset about Nekamaru's body yeah. being desecrated by this fucking thing? Cool, use the non-teethy side. I'll make sure I avenge you! Jeez, at least be a little cautious. It's obviously a trap. I... I agree. I detect the scent of danger. Even my familiars are saying, Do not go inside. And it's not just because I murdered the... Uh, how interesting. If you can kill me, you're welcome to try. Try stabbing your sword through my very heart. Who am I talking to? <laughs> Now then, we shall get moving as well. God, I love him. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Uh, it's annoying, but if Miss Sonia's going, then there's no way I'm not going to go. <laughs> I'm definitely the third in this domino chain of, <laughs> like, I want this person. All right, but it's so damn annoying. I guess it doesn't matter if it's a trap or not. We're all going to die anyway. Everyone went into Monokuma Rock until I was the only one left. When I was about to take a step forward, we're the same fucking... Why do you do that? <laughs> <laughs> the same step ladders, huh? Nikito was suddenly standing next to me with his eyes locked onto Monokuma, rocked and locked and loaded. Other than the small movements of his mouth, he was perfectly still. His hand had a little mouth on it that was like, Hey, why are you talking to me? You and I are just step ladders. Are you telling me or the hand? <laughs> or all righty. <laughs> oh, you can go in. I'm, I'm just having a moment. For everyone who holds the title of Ultimate, I always believed that I didn't mind. Unlike you, I know my place. What are you saying? That's why I was prepared to become a sacrifice at any time, and from that, true hope would be born. I always believed that the talent that survived would be true hope. But it wasn't! There is no hope amidst all this killing! I can't believe it took me this long um, to discover that! Hey, dude, it's chapter four. Uh, of course there isn't. What kind of hope comes from killing people? What? Mm -hmm. Really? Oh, that's so funny, Hand. Are you, su <laughs> are you suggesting that sacrificing others for hope isn't real hope? No, but you're wrong. You're wrong! <laughs> no, you're wrong! <laughs> it's only natural and extremely obvious that strong hope devours weak hope. Isn't that right? <laughs> now we're talking about, like, levels of hope and despair. Yeah. Yeah, it's getting complicated. Anyway, I got a shit. <laughs> yeah. Where's the bathroom? <laughs> Allow me to cut through those turds. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna lay a flat stinkum this long! <laughs> Big flat stinkums. I forgot all about that. After all, that's what it means to live, right? There's no way I'm going to accept that. Oh well. It's not like that's what I wanted to say to you anyway. There's this one novel I like. It's a peculiar mystery story. Have you heard of Spot? <laughs> huh? A novel? You can see him run. <laughs> The story is from the point of view of a high school girl involved in a serial killer mystery. But when you get to the end, <laughs> surprise, surprise, the girl was actually the killer. Oh, ah! Spoilers. <laughs> of course, the story is written carefully so the reader doesn't learn the ending in the middle of the story. <laughs> Unless some asshole blows it for you. <laughs> the protagonist is just a pretext of the reader. You should read it sometime. <laughs> You'll love it. <laughs> and this projection turns out to be the killer. Which means the killer you were looking for the whole time was inside you all along. What an inspirational story. How do you feel about novels like that? The heck are you talking about? You're just jumping from one topic to another. And I can't comment on a book I've never read before and is also he, was spoiled for me. Is he trying to foreshadow that we're a killer? Yeah, right. It's probably. Maybe. It's fucking no in this game. Such a normal answer. Fucking normie. I should have expected that from a talentless reserve course student like you. Alright, I'm gonna go inside the big bear yeah, mouth. Yeah, this has been a great talk. <laughs> but, I know that you don't matter at all, so why do I care about you? You admire hope. I love hope. All right? Let's fuck! <laughs> In some ways we're similar, but maybe that difference is what's making me so emotional. You're emotional? Yeah. Enough already. I don't have time to argue with you, let's go! Everyone's waiting! Man. Everyone, huh? <laughs> So you still believe you're just like everyone else. 
<laughs> Reserve course students are so full of themselves. There might be another murder before the trial if you keep talking. <laughs> yeah. Guido's chilling laugh continued as he disappeared into Monokum and Rock. I wish he would just say, I fucking hate that guy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, while he's walking, just he's in front of you and going downstairs. So push, push him. him. <laughs> yeah. That's right. I need to calm down. I took several deep breaths, and once my nerves had settled, I stepped into Monokuma Rock. Everyone will just be like, Yeah? Yeah, oh man, terrible. What a loss. What a bummer. <laughs> the elevator shook violently as it descended at an ever increasing speed. That's kind of Oh, yes, it is. When we're in a normal elevator that shakes this bad, it reminds me how efficient that elevator in the fun house was. It's almost like it wasn't an elevator at all. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, that's probably true. I was just kind of making conversation. <laughs> the elevator continued to shake. The elevator continued to shake. <laughs> and descended deeper and deeper. Deeper, full of hope and I do despair. have to say that in Danganronpa in general, this elevator scene idea is a great one. It really does let you take stock of like, who's left, how many people are gone, how far you are in the game, like it's, I don't know, it's just cool. Mm -hmm. It stopped like it always does. I would hope so. And the door opened. It just Whoa. kept going forever. I understand your desire to applaud this wonderfully vulgar trial ground. Oh my god. But it's so exhausting to discuss useless things, so let's just get on with it already. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh, it's so sad. My chest hurts. I was never one to do this. It's so sad. Hey. Hey, hey, don't go talking without permission after I've said my catchphrase. Otherwise, I'll roll a dice, and based on the result, I'll give you a sex change operation that many times. That's too many times. <laughs> what an extreme punishment. This is the way I put my pee pee. Now then, let's get on with it once again. Let's get a move on, boys and girls. The answer to that question, Monami. Lies in whether it's an odd or even roll. <laughs> pee pee off, pee pee on. <laughs> I'm just a robot, so I'm just like, click. Great point. And so it begins. I hope this would never happen again, and now it's happening for the fourth time. No. Oh, <laughs> Maybe a fifth time. Yeah, if we play our cards right. <laughs> the curtain of the fourth class trial was about to open. Oh, we sure have some good times around here. Nakamaru Nidai, the ultimate team manager, then the ultimate robot, now the ultimate dead. He was more passionate, more daring, more honest than anyone had ever met. More he than, had like five lines. Yeah, more not alive. <laughs> Truly, he was more man than any of us. <laughs> he sacrificed his body to protect Akana, and his appearance changed drastically because of it. His appearance? Yeah. He was a, robot a fucking now. robot. <laughs> But he tried to live earnestly. It's and not like he got a weird haircut. <laughs> you, you notice my hair? Uh, yeah, it's made out of metal. Thought you'd mention something. Like the rest of you. Just when I finally got used to his new form, kapow! Something's different about him. <laughs> <laughs> Nakamaru's killer. Shing, 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 shing. Is in one of the blue pictures. <laughs> it's one yeah, of us. Yeah, yeah. Oh man. Oh boy. Almost fully dead screen right there. I hope it doesn't get any further because those are my two favorite characters yeah. that are still alive. Killing someone because it's the only way to survive is no excuse. I won't let this be excused. I won't forgive this. Don't freaking leave me, I'm dead. <laughs> the person who betrayed Nekomaru, who betrayed their friends, it was me. Oh shit. Paco Paco's kind of like, I guess I really wasn't that important to the story. <laughs> it seemed like I was way cooler mm, yeah. than Kyoko analog. At the time, yeah. Too bad. I will never ever forgive them. And so, this life-threatening trial billowing with hope and despair has begun. And in the end. Would you like to save your current progress? Yeah, sure. Nope. I don't need to. I'm done. Let's, Let's do it. Out. Mm. Now then, let's begin with a simple explanation we of the We know class how trial. it works, dude, bro. It says all rise, but we never sat down. No. They During didn't even the draw trial, them sitting at any time. Oh, they the made Mikan's like a, a, a like a hospital cross. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. 
They do if you cute vote things. Correctly, then you know, only the will receive like fork. A knife and fork, yeah. If you pick the wrong person, I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and that person will earn the right to leave this island. Okay. I'm sure you guys are All right. starving by now. Uh huh. Let's get right oh, they got fed. They got a little go. race, race bean. Yeah. Bean race. Whoever survives to look at will wall be grapes. Race bun. Guess what? Red bean bun. Rabbit curry Red bean. is on the menu. Mm. Huh? I'm not the main ingredient. How do you manage to get yourself tied up and hanging for every trial? <laughs> All right, let's get started. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. I'm here today. I caught him by surprise again. <laughs> I'm here today because Coach Nekomaru risked his life to protect me. And because you'll die if you're not. Okay, they are talking now. I guess I'll totally turn it up. Sure. Um. I'm definitely not tempted by curry. Got it. <laughs> okay, cool. Hey, Ali, would you mind turning up the volume slightly? An impressive amount of drool flowing from your Thanks, player. I got you, boo. Um, That's awesome. Hey. Yeah, why you. don't we try going over the incident? Oh my god, we I don't want to talk about it anymore. House, so I want to make sure we get a detailed understanding. Um, I discovered Nekomaru's body a little before 7 a.m. Okay. I headed over to Grape Tower for Monokuma Taichi. I was ripping my morning there. stinkum. <laughs> Flat, wide, and loud. <laughs> <laughs> The Sonia Nevermind story. <laughs> it was really ripping through those cheeks. <laughs> Hajime and Chiaki were, were also with me. Yes, it was horrible. Hajime was with Miss Sonia and Chiaki that Oh, God, you morning? thirsty bitch. Just get over it, man. She likes everyone more than you. We were together since last night. Yeah. I am not some woman with flexible legs. What, what does that fuck? mean? Uh, of course you're not. You're much classier than that. <gasps> Never think about your leg flexibility. <laughs> legs like those. I could probably do the splits real easy. What are we talking Just about? To run into each other on the first <laughs> Is that what she was talking are we, about? Are we still talking about a murder? Yeah. Uh, can we um, talk about the dead robot? <laughs> <laughs> and then, the three of us discovered Nekomaru's body. The body discovery announcement was made soon after. Akane heard that and rushed over. Ooh. We heard the body discovery announcement too. From Strawberry House, obviously. Oh, obviously. As I recall, because that's where I was. Yeah. I, was I was at Strawberry House. Was out of order that whole time. Left us stuck. <laughs> so we decided to go to the tower for the time being and headed for Strawberry Hall. This sounds like a fairy tale. I, it really does. <laughs> so we skipped out down Gumdrop Lane. <laughs> we couldn't go anywhere because of that. Thinking we should at least find some method to communicate, we set our sights on the lounge telephone. Oh, we're like really synchronized in yeah. terms of our like story. I know. Get these boring intros. Let's talk about the killer. We'd love to, but we don't know who it is yet. Anyway, <laughs> it's definitely someone from Strawberry House. Oh, is it? What do you mean, definitely? There's no way a chick would kill someone so cruelly. So it must be one of you Strawberry House dudes. I don't know. There was a serial murderer in the last game. Yeah, there good was a point. Girl. One of you better hurry up and confess. God, for you, Hiko, we're both like, uh, we'll just look elsewhere. I'm just gonna... Now, now, enough with the lovers' quarrel. We need to think about this seriously. My finger point. We don't have the luxury of discussing irrelevant things. The incident this time has many questions. The incident notwithstanding, I also have many questions. <laughs> Where do babes come from? <laughs> <laughs> How much wood could a wood check check? <laughs> then let's start with something even Miss Sonia can understand. The weapon. Huh? <laughs> well, the weapon is obvious, right? Huh? What the heck, <laughs> I hope guys? it's closer even this time. You can totally tell just by looking. Duh. Oh no, damn. <laughs> the punk! Ah! Yeah, they really could have gone for the comedy there. You can tell what the weapon is just by looking? It wouldn't be much of a mystery if that were true. It'd be funny if, like, the camera kept zooming in on him until it actually just hit him in the face, like, ah! Stop! <laughs> Wait. <laughs> the only thing at the crime scene that looked like a weapon was probably... You just hear, like, the camera guy, like, Sorry! <laughs> <laughs> it's either pillar or... Yeah, tipped, tipped over, over pillar. pillar. Or pillar fragments. It's the pillar. Okay. 
Oh, I gotta like load up a thing, uh, don't I? Oops. Yeah. You wanna to pause see for a, a sec? Crime. While you get ready for this? No, I got. Okay. Killer, huh? Oh, I can. No, the hammer. The killer oh. used that hammer mm -hmm. and beat the crap out of him. Oops, that was wrong. What does that have to do with how they beat? Well, it has to do with the, the pillar get, beat the crap out of him. Damn it! <laughs> oh, damn it! No! <laughs> I guess we should figure thing. out the weapon. <laughs> the weapon was uh, right uh, there at the scene of the uh, crime. Uh, uh. That pillar, huh? Hey, hey. No, the hammer. The killer used that hammer and beat the crap out of him. Oh wait. If it was unexpected, I suppose that is possible. That's right. It was a surprise beating. The weapon is decided. No. Yeah, because the camera was clean. That's what it, that's what it is. Oh. I guess we should figure out the weapon first. The weapon was right there at the scene of the crime. That pillar. No, the hip. The killer used that. No, the hip. <laughs> and beat the crap out of him. Bang. Yeah, no, that's you. wrong. Bing bong! <laughs> no, I can't accept that that hammer was You've heard murdered. of Ding Dong Ditch? Well, now it's time for Bing Bong Bitch. <laughs> Why not? Why can't you accept it? I can't accept it. You're a dingus. <laughs> a lot of oil was flowing from Nekomaru's body, just like human blood, right? If the hammer was used to beat Nekomaru, you'd expect some oil to be on it at least. But that hammer was clean. So that's why you can't accept that it's the murder weapon. Yeah. Well, yeah, but the killer might have wiped off the oil later. Why? <laughs> Great I, question, uh, Shaki. Why though? But like, why though? Well, obviously, to make the hammer look like it's not the murder weapon. Well, then just take the hammer away. Then why bother cleaning the oil? If they didn't want it to look suspicious, they would have discarded the hammer. I'm with you, because you're... Insightful, baby gangster. <laughs> baby gangster? Aw. Baby gangster? Me? Just so y'all Don't know, bring my rap name into this. <laughs> How did you know about my SoundCloud? Maybe you guys mistook the hammer for the weapon or something. Seems that was a waste of time. Oh, I'm significantly older now. I just noted Peko Peko's ex is like two of her little carrying cases for her sword. Then what was the real weapon? Oh, really? To murder yeah. Nekomaru? I gotta take a look again. That's the problem. There wasn't anything else at the crime scene that looked like a potential weapon. Except for the pillar with blood all over it. Then, how about we look at it from a different angle? Like the angle that's pointed towards the pillar with blood all over it. <laughs> if it doesn't have oil on it, it's not the weapon. So whatever has oil on it must be the weapon, right? The yeah, actual weapon has oil on it, but if it's something that's got uh, oil on it, the mm. fucking hell are you morons? <laughs> Jesus Christ. No, you're morons. <laughs> with oil on it is that broken pillar. But that couldn't have been the weapon. How could it have possibly killed somebody? <laughs> Nakamaru got clobbered with that pillar! But nobody can hold a pillar like a sword! Nobody could withstand a blow from that pillar. Even if you that pillar. 100% of your muscle strength, it would be impossible to wield it as a weapon. Maybe not 100% of your Why? muscle strength. <laughs> we tried to move it, right? Um, his hamsters did it. Oh man, that would be something. <laughs> have, have, it's no use, it's barely budging! Didn't I tell you? Yeah, that pillar was pretty freaking heavy. Dude, language. But there's one dude who could have lifted that pillar. <laughs> I'll freaking kill Nekomaru. you! Nekomaru. Huh? Who are you talking about? Coach Nekomaru's robot body. With that dude's super strength, lifting a pillar would be real easy. All right. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make a joke. I'm going to make a joke. Uh, Actually, I already said this earlier. Okay. That... Gundam's hamsters went inside of Nekomaru's body. Okay. And like made them all malfunction. Did yeah. I say that earlier? Uh, I don't know. Other episode? Possibly, but Maybe. like, it, like one could have pushed the button on the back of his neck and. Yeah. And so like he was holding the pillar and then he was like, oh. Like they reprogrammed him to like take the pit. Oh! What if that was it? Because, um, Nagito mentioned suicide. Like yeah. in the first one. 
and this one might could mirror that. What if this points to Soda? What if someone reprogrammed him to basically smash himself with the pillar? Oh. 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 Good. I still think this is the perfect hamster-related murder. Okay, cool. As it's, they all are. Well, I mean, because like a murder's a murder, but like he's a robot, and like hamsters could go inside. I think of like Ant Man, you know? Yeah, yeah, Ant yeah. Man going inside Thanos, Thanos's anal hole. Dude, believe me, it's the classic hamster versus robot scenario that we've all <laughs> encountered a thousand times in our lives. Yeah. Oh. So he lifted the <laughs> pillar, and then what? Did he use it to beat himself? Beat himself off, maybe. Killed himself. Okay, sorry. I know we're talking about a murder here. Yeah. Don't be stupid. He ain't the type to commit suicide. An <gasps> act of unaliving. Boy, he. Then even if Nekomaru could have lifted that pillar, it has nothing to do with the case at all. <laughs> well, I guess you're right. What the heck? But it does bother me. It doesn't make a bit of difference, guys. That word. Unaliving. <laughs> By the way, the fourth murder of the killing school life was apparently ruled in unaliving. Oh man. Ah! No, that shouldn't matter. There's no way Nekamaru would commit. But that's a problem. <laughs> if it's not the pillar, then there's no other weapon we can think of. Um, there may be a way to use the pillar as a weapon without lifting it. Huh? For reals? He could have like run headfirst into it. Yes. Yeah. Like, ow! For reals. <laughs> I see. So my gut was right after all. And now it's right about having to take a dump. Alright. It's up to you, Sonya. <laughs> Please. Prove that pillar was the murder weapon. Understood. Then I shall give it my all. Just do it. Pulls out her notebook. Sonya, what are you preparing for? Just go. <laughs> Wire. Wire. Oh, boy. There's no need to lift that pillar. Go, Sonya! <laughs> Beating him with it is beyond a dream. What about tipping the pillar over? Yes! Ooh, nice no, shot. No, it's wrong! Wait, it's wrong? Nakamaru was crushed by the pillar. Then there should have been fragments on top of his body. Hmm. Well, they were Good under point. his body. Huh? Oh, yes. The pillar fragments were scattered beneath Nekomaru's body, but there weren't any on top of his body. Maybe he's... I rode him for a long time to make sure. <laughs> if the pillar had been tipped over and crushed, <laughs> the fragments should have been on top of his body instead. I briefly considered that too, but it's probably not what happened. What? Uh, I see. That was entirely... My bad. No, Miss Sonia, Sonia no. no. It's cold. Don't it's feel fine. sad. No, no, you know, don't. If they didn't <laughs> take it over, then how did the killer murder Nekomaru with that pillar? How much longer are you going to focus on the pillar? Just let it go already. Like Elsa in Frozen. <laughs> she let it go, and she made a billion dollars in a sequel. And then they... they fixed the Disney SEO, so if you search Disney Frozen, you don't get theories about his head being frozen. <laughs> <laughs> it's a real conspiracy theory. Oh, I wouldn't there, be shocked. There's no way I can let it go. I'm positive that Nekomaru was killed by that pillar. <laughs> I can't hold it back anymore! Why are you so certain about that? I just have a feeling. Your gut? A feeling, huh? That's just your instincts. Yes. We can't say for sure that that instinct is wrong, can we? <gasps> no, you're right. There's another way to use that pillar to kill. You guys just haven't noticed it. Oh, fuck you, Nagito. Yeah. Stupid moron. Is that true? Then it's I a killer pillar? You, what way is that? Up. You guys. Same as usual. You're unable to You guys can't even figure out how I use the pillar. Uh. <laughs> So you just stand there and falter. What a waste of talent. And you all intend to fight the future foundation? You make me laugh. This Word. guy has turned into a A-plus gold-plated douchebag. Yeah, you're really helping us out right now, Nagito. What did you say? Regardless, it's not like I want to die with the rest of you. So I guess I should lend a hand. Hey, Nagito. So cool. Yeah. What the hell happened to you? 
used to be so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Now look at you. It's actually like the dickhead gene moved from me to you. <laughs> I've learned a valuable lesson. Ignorance is by far the greatest shame. Huh? What do you mean? I know everything. Just tell us how the pillar was used to kill. Well, first of all, the pillar itself is not enough. The pillar and his friends, however. Yeah, it's a cereal pillar. Combined with a specific <laughs> item. There's a way it could be possible. A specific item? Hamsters. The ultimate weapon. <gasps> the poison? Ultimate... <laughs> Isn't that you can't poison a robot? You when you clear the final it's a computer deadline? virus. Whoa. Whoa. If you die in the robot, you die for so, real. So, Nagito knows what the ultimate weapon is? Of course I know. But I'm pretty sure everyone else has seen it. Oh know? my god! Yeah, just say it, dude. It's the strawberry! We've seen it? That's right. You've seen it clearly. It's my fists. Because I, the one who has claimed dominion over evil, am the ultimate weapon. No shit, really? I am he who cuts the I insolent catalyst. Which <laughs> he might the be. Chaos with the sword of victory. He, his it's words are great, though. That I deserve to be called the ultimate weapon. <laughs> the hamster is like, yay! <laughs> You are far greater than the ultimate weapon. Oh my god, the two of you, get a room. I love it. Not oh, so cute. They're my favorite couple. What do you mean you don't know why? You're nothing but one seething, jealous pile of garbage hatred. Cut the bullshit and say it clearly. What is the ultimate weapon? In order to clarify that, we first need to solve the secret of the funhouse. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what? <laughs> Something very funny about that. It's just like they're solving a solving a murder case is because a robot was murdered. This is a robot version of a guy who was already killed, and then they've been in strawberry in a grave house. And then the guy with the hamster is like, "I'm the ultimate weapon." And then the chick that likes him is like, "You shit it out!" And the guy who likes her is like, "Oh fuck!" <laughs> it's like just there's so much stuff. And then it just and then this line. In order to clarify that, we first need to solve the secret of the fun house. You got it, Scooby Doo. <laughs> cool, thanks. Really, a lot of stuff going on. Still don't realize it. Jeez, you're so stupid. If only you had seen the thing that I have seen that nobody else has seen that probably makes no sense. Jeez, get it together, game designers. Except for Hajime, of course. Except for Hajime? If we make it out of this, I'll explain it to you guys. Anyway, we must first Not clarify right. the secret of the funhouse, right? Then I think it must have something to do with the structure of the funhouse. It is how you say fun! Strawberry house <laughs> leads to Strawberry Tower, and Grape House leads to Grape Tower. But in actuality, they are both the same building, and both houses are linked to the central tower. But that's not true, though. Or maybe it is, and there's another thing It is undeniable on. that such a sweet building structure is the secret of the funhouse. Man, not only does that make perfect sense, but Miss Sonia's beautiful voice is just so soothing. Oh, give oh, it up, dude. Come on, man. How more obvious can it be? Nah. Oh, show! I shall leave this matter to your discretion. The two houses are connected to the tower in the middle. I thought that at first too, but I ended up finding proof that completely contradicts that. <laughs> it just keeps going up. Strange feeling tower. That's how I... In truth, Strawberry Tower and Grape Tower are actually the exact same place. No, 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 they're not. They're not though. Ah, uh, fuck! Uh, <laughs> is that really it? It's weird to say that both of them are the same. We've already said I'll give it ten years before you argue with Miss Sonia. I'll give it ten years before I argue with Miss Sonia. In truth, the strawberry tower are actually the exact same place. There you go. No, that's wrong. No, shut up! <laughs> Don't tell her to shut up. Don't tell her she's wrong. Stop <laughs> spouting falsehoods. Fal are they really false? The same place? Both of those towers. <laughs> Now, do you harbor a grudge because my kingdom destroyed your homeland? Wait, what? <laughs> I did not know that. Did I? I won't tolerate any sort of rebellion. 
I mean, doesn't it seem strange? When we no. the Great Tower from Great Hall, <laughs> explain in front of the door to Strawberry Hall. But then when we opened the door, it was not even there. It wasn't there! It wasn't there! It's pretty weird. I mean, it was a trick, like Holy crap, that was my guess, Soda. <laughs> if it is, then see? That means it could have passed as the exact same place. No, right? because I don't know. So then what? Do you seriously think such a simple answer is the correct answer? I mean, Doc and oh. Fraser. Why don't you bless us with the knowledge? Does that mean he's wrong? Oops, I guess you're, I said too much. You mean much. you're gonna look You haven't said too time. much. You're in a murder trial. <laughs> where all our lives are at stake. <laughs> then that means we need to think about the structure of the building again. Bow down! Whoa. Damn. Bow down! Then how about this? Somebody moved Nekomaru's body. Oh my god. While we were moving from Grape Tower to Strawberry Tower, no, yes. <laughs> but we should have all been together during that time. Even if they tried to move the body inside the tower. Then Monokuma did it. While we were moving, Monokuma quickly moved things around. No. But Nekomaru's body wasn't the only thing moved. Are you saying the broken pillar was moved too? If it is too heavy to carry, let them roll it. Wow. Oh, is that your queenly? It was like a Marie Just Antoinette like kind of thing. Bread, let them eat cake. Ah, there it is. Except I don't know if she ever actually said that. No. Yeah, probably not. She seems to have gotten the shaft and uh, the shaft of history. <laughs> I think we there all are have. Many different yeah. ways. Oh wait. Uh, oh. Aaron, you need to be cutting through those words. And Nekomaru could have been moved piece by piece. I decree it was not a cut doing. I decree. Oh, I ran oh, out of slashes. You ran out of cut. Just overcoming my argument with great confidence. Ways. And you know what happens with great confidence. It comes with great confidence. The pillar could have been rolled. And Nekomaru could have been moved piece by piece. I decree it was not a I'm doing it. Doing. I'm cutting through those words. Damn it. Oh man, you can't miss one. Yeah, seriously. There are many different ways. Oh, you missed one. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's over. And Nekomaru could have been moved piece by piece. I decree it was Monokuma's doing. Damn. Even after all that, that, uh, that. There are many different ways. <laughs> the body and the pillar could have been moved. The pillar could have been rolled. And Nekomaru could have been moved piece by piece. I decree it was uh -huh. Monokuma's doing. Good job. Yes. I'm awesome, Moving Sword Man. Allow time. me to shut you the hell up. <laughs> it seems for Monokuma, don't you think? It seems you have forgotten. Oh, more cuts. Oh. Monokuma is oh. the <laughs> the power, the pillar, the body, everything at the crime scene. Shut. Allow me to cut through those words. Yeah. Not everything. Moving the body and pillar is possible, but it would have been impossible to move the oil on the floor. Mmm. But what if Monokuma went like. <laughs> and the one like. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great point. The position of Nekomaru's body in the pillar changed. The oil surrounding his body moved too. Physically moving all of the oil like that is simply not possible, no matter how you look at it. Mm. No. Then it's impossible to think it was moved. Man, it's fucking. Oh, fuck! <laughs> two for, oh, for two, I guess. Yeah. I cannot believe I got so fired up. It's just like when I killed Nekomaru. <laughs> <laughs> so what really happened? Does that mean the two towers aren't the same building? No, it's the second Lord of the Rings movie. Mm. Mm. We can't be, we can't certain, be certain of that, of that either. <laughs> they were very long movies. <laughs> Feels like it all kinds of blends together, huh? The handbook I left on the tower floor was a complete success. Although now that every single thing worth watching is like 20 episodes, yeah. maybe it'll feel like a cakewalk. Yeah, a 12-hour Lord of the Rings marathon sounds like a fucking walk in the park. <laughs> yeah, the e-handbook was still there. That's why we thought the two towers were the same building. If they're not the same building or two different buildings, then what are they? The same build- oh. 
Uh, Are they like on <laughs> top of each other? No idea, huh? Because he went to the trap door in Strawberry House. Yes. And then came down and to dropped grape down house. into Grape House. The mystery ties into the secret of the food. But we don't have enough clues to solve that, Miss Turry. Then the only thing we can do is rely on the one person who has those clues. Nagito. Nagito. We need to eat a Nagito burrito. <laughs> we need to eat it to complete it. Fine. I'll tell you guys a big hint that can help you solve the secret of the funhouse. Give us the answer, not a friggin' hint. Thank you, Soda. But then it wouldn't mean anything. I need you guys to do this class trial properly. And who the fuck are you exactly? Yeah. It's also important for me because it will help me determine something. Okay, I need help to determine something. Determine? Is he talking so about the trailer? Something? <laughs> if so, why did Nikito say that all of a sudden? Did something happen to him? How do we know your hint is any good? It's suspicious that you're the only one who knows it. I have a good reason for that. I'm epic. Yeah, I'm super cute. The reason I'm the only one who knows it is because I was the only one who performed the appropriate action. And what appropriate action is it? Is it baby? Is it baby? Look, look at Monami's little no. legs. Like, <laughs> just hanging there. The life threatening game. <laughs> you were the only one to do Tai Chi. <laughs> Right? <laughs> oh, Tai Chi! <laughs> you cleared the life-threatening game there and found something, didn't you? That's oh, love for Tai Chi. <laughs> I, after I, I do it. like Tai Chi, though. <laughs> In the depths of the final dead room, there was a hidden room surrounded by concrete. And there, a small conspicuous window waited, all by itself. From that window, I saw some very strange scenery. Strange okay, scenery. what did you see? Yeah. Instead of explaining it, it might be faster just to show you. Great. At Do an it. Opportune time, I found a perfect camera in the final. Oh, dead did room. you? Yeah. Lucky you. Took we were there with you the whole time. You took a picture. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Yep. <laughs> Nagito grinned creepily, as he always does, yeah. as he retrieved a small digital camera from his inner see, pocket. This is it. You didn't see what I was doing with the hamsters, did you? <laughs> and as he said that, he showed us a peculiar picture. What the? Let me explain it to you again. Okay. I took this picture on the first floor of Strawberry House. Mm. From the secret room within the final deck. And yet it's way off the ground. Mm -hmm. But don't you think it's weird? If the funhouse's structure is what you guys have been thinking, then there's lots of things that don't make sense in this picture, right? Yeah. Lots of things that shouldn't make sense then in this let's picture. Begin. Shall I call it thinking? Uh, time? Oh, all right. Thinking time, thinking time, do 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 thinking time. There's like a logo. <laughs> <laughs> thinking time, TM, is a trademark property. What does it make sense in this picture? Spot selection. Um, uh, all, all of, of it. it. <laughs> Trees. <Here. laughs> I found it! Like, the whole thing! It's like if a Where's Waldo thing was just like a super close-up of his face. <laughs> right there! If that's the case, then that means it should have been taken from the first floor of Strawberry House. Yes. Yeah, it should have been. Then this is definitely strange. This photo doesn't look like it was taken from the first floor. The angles suggest it was taken from higher up. <gasps> Very good. I see. Is there anywhere is you could have clicked it? on that picture and not had been like, here it is? I don't know. The Guido said there are lots of things that don't make sense in this photo, which means there are other contradictions contained in it. I mean, probably that the building's round. Hmm. You know, the buildings are round. It's yeah, rather round section of the building. It's a tower. Say what tower the friction is there thinking all along. This is not a natural at all, this degree. Crap! Who is staring? Look like an asshole. Is this daytime? 
A pretty blue sky. If the structure of the fun house is what we thought it was, grape house and strawberry house should link to the tower in the middle. Right. Which so what does that have to do with the sky? You're viewing the tower from strawberry house. You should see Grape House behind ah. But in this photo, I don't see anything behind the tower. No shadow, no shape, no Grape House at all. Ooh. That's right. Good call. Hmm. Awesome. <laughs> in summer, well, you're yes. learning. This is the truth contained in this photo. The first floor of Strawberry House is located in a high area. And Grape House is not behind the tower. It's not? Are you saying that Grape House is merely an illusion spell cast by Monokuma's cursed eye? No, but I love where your head's at. <laughs> Keep going with that. <laughs> From this point on, do your own thinking. Now that you've finally met the same requirements as me, if you guys are truly simple... This guy's like home, every Redditor. You can easily solve a simple mystery like this. Do race. your own research. <laughs> Let me Google that for you. <laughs> Possible for Hajime to solve it too, even though he's just a normal high school student. Mm. Despite the fact that you don't have a real talent, dude, what the fuck? Yeah. Dude, you told me you weren't good. Fucking dude. lame. Dude, why are you doing this? Super lame. Guess we'll find out next time I game run. Oh shit! <laughs> All right. The other clue. Which one's the clue? Is it this one? Don't hit too hard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bye. Bye.